Good morning. It's early and it's day 50. Why am I saying 50? Day 85. I know why, because it's early. Um, no excuse for yesterday though, but yeah, I'm up. My hair has stayed. Normally, this wouldn't be good after a, a night's sleep. Um, but yeah, it looks all good. Ready for my 6.15 class. Um, the vibe, the music's a bit more chilled. It's not as hype as evening classes. Um, still, still hype, but not, not crazy, crazy hype. So yeah, looking forward to it. And I think I have a driver waiting for me. So I need to, I'm not too late. Um, I'm not actually late, but um, I need to get my set up. Hi, morning. See you in a bit. Look at my ride this morning. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. It's like pimp my ride. Oh, I need to open my door. We are here. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Morning, morning. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, as usual. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Lovely smile in the morning. I am back in the studio. And yes, you've got to do a mirror dance. I don't know what that is. It's like a... <laughs> that wasn't a mirror dance. Anyway, got to set myself up. Light controllers. Bikes. And we have a full class. So... Morning shine. Hi everybody, my name is SJ and welcome to your morning shine cycle. So I want you to bring those shoulders back. Chest proud, knees forward. One, two, one, two. When you're ready, bounce to the right and left. I am awake. <laughs> awesome class. Ooh, I can't even open the door. Morning! We have Jem yes. and Agos, yes. and they hardcore this morning. It's, it's six o'clock. Is your morning Yes. Yeah? Morning person. They are morning <laughs> people. Yeah, look at those. Look at those. Thank you for coming to class. Thank you. Look at that, all branded up, branded up. Look at me. Now my hair is getting a little bit funky. Um, but yeah, I'm going to come pick me up. And heading back, we're going to get some breakfast. Look at that dip. I do not want to fall down there. Anyway, amazing class again. I am buzzing. I'm awake now. I'll probably fall asleep in a second. But yeah, fantastic class. Thanks for joining me, all you early risers. Pipping. <laughs> that was really bright. That was really close. Pipping. <laughs> right, I need to find him. I need to wait him up. And then we can go for breakfast because I'm so hungry. Um, also, I found out, uh, Iman told me that there is a pool in the country club, indoor pool, and there's one outside that closes at 10, so I need to let Tim know because he was like, it closes at 6, um, and that's the time he likes to swim. So I had to wait about an hour until this one got out of bed 
to eat. So yeah, we are here now and I'm so hungry. But then when I finally was ready, she still made me wait 20 minutes when she did something. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, he was like, you can't go out like that. Your hair's all scraggly. So I had to take my plaits out. So yeah, I blame him. A big benefit of waking up super early uh, doing a morning class is one, you get fit, and two, by kind of mid morning, it feels like you've done so much. Um, but saying that, I'm so tired now, but that's just because I've had a big, a big breakfast. I mean, not big breakfast, a really healthy breakfast. So, Tim just asked me what this is, or where does it go? I don't know, so let's check it out. Oh, me. <laughs> it's a mirror dance tunnel. Look. Running man. Night fever. It literally is just mirrors. <laughs> My little grooves. Oh! Alright, enough of that. I hadn't noticed or really paid attention to these mosaic murals that are everywhere on the floor in these central atrium lobby areas and they're really really good depicting all of uh, Brunei's local birds and lizards I think um, but yeah definitely um, definitely a hidden gem I love it when you walk past something maybe numerous times and then you suddenly realize it's there I'm not teaching until the evening. Um, I'm doing a team teach with Teddy. So me and Tim are gonna explore the grounds. Um, he went off the other day and kind of got kicked off a, a golf course. So I'm gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna venture and check out the other side of this resort. So, hmm, exciting. Oh, we're sad. Hi there. Squeaky shoes. So I'm walking around this place and I was saying to Tim, it reminds me of like a ship, like a cruise ship, look, with all the different balconies. And then you've got that central area here. And the chairs on that table down there, killing your OCD. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. I didn't even see it, I didn't even notice it, so yeah. So this hotel is called the Sea View and it sits at the periphery of the main hotel and they've definitely themed it in a nautical style. It's called the Sea View. It's uh, covered in compasses and uh, 
like shells and things like that, pictures of boats on the wall. And I think that's the look they've gone for. And yeah, yeah I guess it's like uh, the B tier section, but it's still really nice. But I realise we are on the west atrium and west is best. That's not west. Is that west? I don't know. <laughs> that looks like I'm swearing at you. I'm not. Sorry. Do you think that they could jump up here? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, let's... <laughs> he doesn't seem frightened of us at all. No. I might just keep <laughs> imagine if he just jumps, jumps up on the ledge. <laughs> oh god, look. So it looks like there's a waterfall building. Don't know what that's going to be, but it's this way. Should we go and have a little look? Yeah. Maybe this is the waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfall. Please stick to the... Oh, maybe it's a block called waterfall. And there's your waterfall. Headland after this, so there's the final headland. There are three I found oh, out, okay. and that's behind here, I think. So, this is the theatre and cinema. I thought that was someone peeking out the window, but it was James Bond. It's nice air conditioning, though. Oh, they have Barbie, Mission Impossible. It's Barbie time. And we have Mr. Hulk. So it's $5 for morning sh um, showing. And then it's about eight dollars for the evening one. But yeah, they're open. That's pretty good, isn't it? Two yeah. pound fifty or about four pounds. Yeah. Maybe we'll go and see Barbie. No, I'm joking. But maybe Mission Impossible. Maybe tomorrow. I have decided that the theme of the Empire Hotel is that of being grand and opulent combined with being really, really empty, which is a winning combination in my opinion. Um, I think the only time I've been underwhelmed was with that uh, waterfall, which was just the hotel. I'm up for watching Mission Impossible a bit Tom Cruise. Why not? And I did watch on Instagram him preparing for this stunt. So yeah, let's do it. Maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. We're walking out to the car park and this headland, which looks a little bit more junglified than the rest of the uh, estate and it looks like I just saw a troop of monkeys legging it across the car park and they look pretty big um, so I don't know if we're gonna venture off into it but I want to get a little bit closer because I can still see them and they're definitely monkeys they thought they may be dogs um, but yeah there were a lot of them god they're big Tim wants to check out the monkeys <laughs> Don't get too close. Sarah's representing for the Vanguard, making sure I don't get taken out from behind. And this car park is pretty big and... 
there's not a single car in it. So let's get a close up of those monkeys. So here they are just chilling in the shade. They're the biggest ones that I've seen out in the wild so far. They're the size of a medium sized dog. They seem chilled though, they're sensible, more sensible than we are. They're in the shade, we're standing out here in the sun. <laughs> Photographing them. Okay, bye monkeys. So we're allowed in five minutes before four, but the air conditioning's good. Gonna go watch on cruise. No cameras. We're about two hours in, we're on the Orient Express and we've still got to get to the bottom of the ocean. To be fair, I'm going to back the British on this one. James Bond would have definitely got this done in a more timely manner. I think about an hour and a half would have worked better for me, if I'm honest. So, Mission Impossible, whatever, what did we think? <laughs> I, yeah, it was easy watching, good to see. Um, storyline they're just running after each other chasing each other so yeah easy watching for me and you're gonna go to Luna thank, thank you. you and we're out oh it's warmer out here yeah, it was cold it was chilly in that cinema yeah but um yeah mission impossible it was part one um and they found the key oh uh, so yeah, I learn. think that was the giveaway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, not worth going to see really. Um, but yeah, a solid uh, action film I think. Um, he's the last of a dying breed, isn't he? Doing his own stunts, so it's crazy. fair play to him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's still a handsome little chap as well. Um, <laughs> he's still a handsome little chap. Yeah, explosions, car chases, the international scenery. Um, so what would my recommendation be? I think it is go and see Top Gun Part 2, it was far better. Yeah, Maverick. Go and see one first, just to... Why not? Because it's an awesome film. And then go and watch Maverick. Sarah's uh, brother was a fighter pilot, so he was always the coolest man in the room. Yeah, we... Growing up, he would watch Top Gun on repeat, which meant I would watch Top Gun on repeat. And I would watch Grease and Mary Poppins, which my brother didn't. So, yeah, he became a fighter pilot from that. So he's... He's Mr. Mr. Maverick. <laughs> Yeah.